Hey guys, so today I'm here to share with you my ultimate pen pal pocket. I finally um, put one of these together. I have a tutorial on it that I'll go ahead and link in the description box below. But it's basically um, just using a very large um, brown paper bag that you get at the grocery store and folding it in half. And um, the idea is to create the ultimate pen pal pocket. So. Um, you have your letter over here, or if you're a card maker, you can make a card. Um, you have your flip book over here, and then um, goodies in this pocket, and then there's a pocket back here for a pocket letter. So this is pretty much um, like the ultimate, you know, it has everything you'd want if you're like really into snail mail and things like that. So the paper collection that I used is Oasis by Crate Paper. It's my top favorite right now, and... I really just wanted to go ahead and play with it and I actually had made this a while ago I just hadn't had time to do a video but I figured since I'm doing a video every day in May that you know I might as well just you know put this video out there so um, basically uh, like I said I used a brown paper bag folded it I used um, some of the 12 by 12 papers I created this envelope with my um, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. I used a bunch of the die cuts from the um, the die cut pack from the collection, some stickers, some chipboard uh, stickers. Um, these are from these are just gold stickers from I think a Dear Lizzie collection. So up here, I don't have my letter in here yet, but I do have you know some Velcro holding the envelope closed. I love these palms. I think they're so cute. And then I have just a puffy gold heart sticker from the collection. Um, I have some twine holding it all together. Um, I just think it looks really cute. And I have this tag from the, um, the die cut pack as well. And it says days filled with sun, fun and friends. Um, I like tying the ends. See, like I tie it, uh, I leave maybe about an inch or so at the bottom. I tie a knot and then I fray. I fray the knot. So it you know, I get the frayed look still, but it's not gonna fray all the way up to where it ruins, you know, the twine and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and open this. I really love this collection. I love the beach. I think having to do with the beach and this doesn't necessarily all have to do with the beach. Um but I do like I do love the collection. So, I just wrap that around, and let's just get into it. So, I have over here uh, a mini flip book. I say mini flip book, bleh, <laughs> flip book because um, if you guys have watched my tutorial on the envelope flip book, that I'll also leave the link in the description box. I used three envelopes, but this one I only used two. Because I figured, you know, you're getting the letter, you're getting goodies, you're getting a pocket letter. You can do three if you want, and I would just um, uh, adhere, if you were doing three, I would adhere the middle um, envelope to the... Uh, to you the front of your uh, pen pal ultimate pen pal pocket and that way it could open like you know like, kind of like gatefold I guess um, but I just did you know two envelopes I have a little bit of the ephemera use some a gold paper clip from recollections um, also some enamel dots from recollections and then just this chipboard sticker that says itinerary I have velcro holding it together and like I said I love these palms they're so cute so when you open it I have, um, I believe this might be a cut apart from the collection. I used a sticker at the bottom just so it's like, you know, like as if someone labeled um, labeled the Polaroid. So it says Happy Weekend Vibes. I have some gold doilies in there for my pen pal. Um, this is a, I believe, a cut apart or um, from the uh, ephemera pack. But it says Best Weekend Ever. I have more enamel dots. I pop this up on foam. So it's got a little dimension, and then I have some uh, pink, I guess, pink gemstones, and they just slip right in there, and those are little goodies for my pen pal. And so in here, I wanted to create just a few cute things. This, I made this cute little faux um, clipboard, <laughs> 
I uh, just have a piece of brown chipboard. I think it kind of displays this super cute. And then my pen pal can put photos if she wants to. Um, I have this gold clip from Spare Parts from Hobby Lobby. And this is a cut apart from the collection. So I just wanted to make it like a little clipboard. I thought that was really cute. I have a pencil because I just like to leave, you know, a pencil or a pen in there for my um, pen pal. And then this is a little mini book that I made. I just wanted to, you know, make like a little journal. I thought it was super cute. So this is, gosh, I don't remember the measurements of this, but um, it's, I don't know, about the size of my hand. And I just tied it with some twine, some blue twine that matches the collection. Um, I did a little scribbling, if you can't tell. I think that's really cute. I think it just kind of adds to the whole journal feel of it. So I used this sticker that says fun. I don't know what that is. That just irritates me that little scratch. Um, I just scribbled and then I put a sticker over that. It says sunny days, so fun sunny days. And then on each page, I just kind of um, adhered a piece of ephemera. So it looks like everything is like, you know, like it's full and it's, you know, busting with stuff, you know. I just thought it was really cute. So I have that in there. I have some paper clips and some uh, letter stickers from... Hobby Lobby. So I just thought that was kind of cute. Oh, and as you can see, I matted the paper, um, or I matted the bag with this pink paper with the palms. I just, oh, I love it. And then over here, I added a couple of um, uh, little stamps over here. This is from the 12 by 12 sheet. It's like a big 12 by 12 sheet full of stamps. And I just used my, oh, what is it? My, uh, they're for sewing. I forgot what scissors. I forgot what they're called. Pinking shears. I just use my pinking shears to go around to give the effect of like a stamp, you know. So that's what I did. And then I just popped those up on some foam. So I'll just put everything back. I just thought it was cute. I might add some more stuff. And then back here fits my pocket letter. So this is my pocket letter. I think it came out really cute. I haven't made one of these in a really long time, so this is kind of fun to, to go ahead and just make something real quick like this. So over here I just have some gold uh, glitter washi tape. So over here in this first little pocket I have um, just a chipboard sticker of this little bikini. I did a lot of layering, used, um, used some of the stickers from the collection. Over here I wanted to make a couple shakers since I love shakers so much. So this says a few much needed days away and then I have some um, shaker bits to, you know, that coordinate with the collection. Over here I have this tag. Um, I love, you know, tying little bits of twine on the tag. Um, I like to usually add like a tag on the top, on the, you know, on the first few um, top pockets just because, you know, if, if a little bit of twine is going to hang out, I think it's cute that it hangs out over the top. So I have that, and I have some pink enamel dots, and I like this little mailbox. It's a chipboard sticker, also from the collection. And these I just kept really simple. They're just a couple bits of ephemera that I thought were kind of cute. Um, this says party, sleep, sun, repeat, and this is just a pineapple flashcard. And I have this camera in the middle that I just put a little um, enamel dot in the, uh, in the center of the lens, and then I popped it up on some foam. And then down here, I love this little Sunshine Hotel. This is a sticker and I just popped that up in some foam. I have a little um, tag or a little banner that I created behind it using some of the flamingo paper. And then I love this, ugh, all the papers in this collection are just so cute. I think there's like maybe one or two that I really just don't care for, but I love a majority of the collection. Um, so I use some yellow enamel dots from my collections just cause you know, there's yellow on the little sign. This is a little flamingo um, ephemera piece, and I just used some of the uh, sequins and stuff, same, the same little mix that I got from here. And then this is a sticker from the collection that I just popped up on some phone, and it says Sea Sun Fun. And then on the back, I just have little bits, so I have um, uh, just some bits of ephemera some crepe paper, some twine, and some washi, and then this um, star, gold star uh, confetti. And I just think it came out really cute. I really like how it, how it turned out. 
Okay, you guys, so that is my Ultimate Pen Pal Pocket using the Oasis Collection by Crate Paper. I am super happy with how it came out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and like I said, I'll have the tutorial to this linked in the description box below, as well as my flipbook tutorial. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.